broadcast of the 2024 Murray vs Corey Interstate Challenge. Also privileged to welcome Rugby League Samoa Queensland to the mix. A big talofa lava to all our Pacific friends and family watching. Alex Durante in the commentary box, joined by my also Sam Tangatese. Bo okay. de la Cruz will join us later. We've got the cultural celebration ahead of us, Sam, with the under-17 women's, the, the Queensland Murray and Queensland Samoa. At the moment, Samoa have won every single game in this competition. <laughs> we might be regretting inviting Samoa to join. <laughs> <laughs> At the end of the game, Rugby League is the winner. Said no one ever. Now nah, get it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, as we wait for the buzzer to get out oh, there, it's the buzzer. Four 17 minute quarters, two minute breaks, and a five minute half. And my God, straight out of the gate. That's some action to get us started. The number nine. Straight off kickoff. I almost missed it. That's Talara Taylor. But she's lost it. She's lost the ball. Oh, that was, that just, is a that was great freaky start. fast, eh? Can we get a re <laughs> replay there? Number nine. Look at that. Off the kickoff. Found found some space. Snuck through. Caught the ball. Lost the ball. Oh, right. good defense, though, from Samoa to catch that and force the error. I, <laughs> like we said, I missed it. Like, it was so quick. She's got some speed on there, the number uh nine so she's playing maybe a hooker usually they play in different positions to what the numbers are but we'll see as now queensland samoa setting up to come out of the scrum here they are bit of passive play there with um a tip on i tell you what we're only a minute in but i think this is going to be a fiery game Sam, got some numbers there can she use it Back inside, she finds her 11, Tanielu. Memphis, Tanielu there. Playing the short side now. Got numbers, she'll step back in. I think that's the number three there, Tuua. Oh, he said Tuua. Tip on. So, something we noticed in the previous game that we were so obsessed with with Samoa is the offload game. It's just insane. I think the majority of the 38 points that were scored for Samoa were off offloads. Offloads. It's just, oh, it's a, it's a yeah. <laughs> well, if you, if you look back in uh, uh, previous players, Ali Lautiri was a great mm. offloader. Um, Sonny Bill Williams. Oh, the boy. <laughs> Sunny, Sunny Bill, Bill. Don't want to be naming all these 6A5 people. So um, um, great players of the game. Um, good offloaders. So it's it's great to see. And now we'll see uh, Scrum. So we had a fumble from Samoa. As I welcome my sister Bo De La Cruz. Oh, is that a Catch fine? Catch your breast, my sister. <laughs> is, that, is that a fine for being late, Bo? I'm over there. No, I'm not even going to explain myself right now. Hello, family. I'm Hello, back. my sister. Welcome back. Oh, you should have seen. Did you see the first play of this kickoff? No, because I was running back here. Just, <laughs> just thought I'd let you know. I was just filling Sammy in with the with the offload game. We've already seen it in this game. But we're just mentioning some of our favourite players. I said Sam Tunga Jesse, one of mine. Oh, yes. Yeah, I'll um, take that. I'll take that. Yeah, I had the privilege of working with this this team, the Murray's 17s, for um, oh, go Friday <laughs> for the um, for the whole camp. Uh, myself and Willie T, and like every session, they just improve and they love learning, and they're just a bunch of great kids. And yeah, I'm I'm so excited for this game right now. Here we go outside the back. That's Angel Austin. We see Friday there. Is any relation to Sam? Would be. Yes. Would be along the line somewhere. Somewhere. Yeah, we'll claim her. Yes. That's a Torres Strait Islander woman right there. <laughs> yep. She's uh, residing in Canberra, going to uh, uni. Beautiful kick. Nice little nudge there by the 18. It's a dental offside there. Nice little grub. I can see that. Get, they get the ball back. Got yeah. another, another set of six to try and... Get some first points for Queensland Murray 17 girls. And unfortunately, we lost young um, Marley Morgan, who was supposed to be playing in the number seven from a head knock last week. Now we've got the 19 day rule, and she was ruled out this morning, um, unfortunately. So I know she was quite disappointed with that, but um, you know, we've, we've definitely got to take safety first. Mm. 
Um, but yeah, she would have been a good addition to this team. Layla Geck. I like these nine blocks here. You know, it's not just chucking it up in the middle using the big plays. Yes. Oh, gone backwards there. Oh, almost a professional foul from the number two winger. She sort of held a player back. I saw. Yeah. I yeah. Thought so. There and it yeah. is. Yeah. Yeah. She didn't have the ball and made contact. Yeah. Just a mistake. She's probably lost who actually had the ball. Um, but we'll see another set of six. They're looking good down here, the Murray girls. Five minutes in now. Mm. She'll take it herself, a little show and go from Ruby. Yep, they've just got to be patient here and set it up. Um, go through what we were, right were doing yesterday. Oh, and they've scored. The Nisha yes. Kibum. Ooh, Kibuma. Yes. Kibuma. Yeah. Great little play there. They backed themselves, didn't they, down that right side. Nothing was on, and um, she's just picked it up and gone over. It was about the third penalty, though, that Samoa have given away to the Murray girls. So it was probably just a matter of time before they used it. And used it successfully, they did, in the likes of Denisha Gabuma. Gabuma, I think. Gabuma. Gabuma. Yep. We had a... Uh, the pleasure of working. Oh, we'll do the replay Other first. Way. <laughs> yeah. Here it is. There. <laughs> Lovely little dummy. Straight from dummy, Two though. Two good left, and she's gone over. Beautiful try. That's really good um, observation by her there and gave him awareness. So yeah, she saw the player was yeah, sort of turned her back. straight yeah. yet. Mm -hmm. Can't turn your back, especially close to the line down. You always got to just turn up and even if you have to give away a penalty, yep. you know, like for Samoa, you just give away the penalty and just reset for another um, defensive set. Mm -hmm. So, um, so Bo, uh, they've been in camp for a whole week? No, they've been in camp for two days. Two so days. Thursday, Friday. Um, this team, like I had the privilege of picking a lot of these girls, like at about two, two of our halves pulled out in the last minute. So, um, but Benny Mitchell, the coach, he's been coaching the North Queensland Pearls in the under 17s division at the Murray Carnival for the last couple of years and he's done awesome. some really good stuff with them and I've got a you know shout out he's married to my cousin there Minicon so um, <laughs> nice. uh, yeah he's he's done some awesome work but just a really good follower and you know one of those genuine guys that loves women's footy which you, you I hate to say but you don't see a lot of and he does his, his daughter's playing in the team as well Anise Mitchell so yeah it's um that was waved away but yeah it good two days with them and two hot days uh, Sam it was yeah <laughs> two hot days but you Very can hot. just see like just in the in the on the on their good boy there how mm -hmm. they're just attacking or just um yeah just providing options here you yeah. know block block simple plays but effective yeah and that's what we try to do myself and will working with benny and and the assistant coach adam just to you know give the girls a platform but don't forget to play football you know you see what's in front of you like we'll give you all the plays that you can but nothing can beat that natural black fella football you know yeah eyes, eyes up eyes yeah. up and just attack the line yeah all right we see the kickoff it's gone backwards far more straight out the gate on the number four mitchell playing the short side Hold on. Scrappy play the ball there. Samuel get, um, gets the ball back, so. Oh, unfortunately an error in the play the ball. So we'll see Samoa pack the scrum. And the scoreboard six sits at four nil to Queensland Murray team, 17 minute quarters with a five minute half. Here we go, that was a 17. Straight out, Papani. Straight out from the scrum there. Back to Olumali'i. Inside to number eight, Harmony Harris. Good to see what they've got down here in good ball. They're, they're gonna look like they're stretching it out to the right here. Gonna shift it, nice little X, Y. This hands, oh, oh we've got, oh, she's oh, gone. here she goes. She's gone. This is Lottie, so Gigi, she's deadly, this kid, and she knows how to read the play well. Can she, does she have the legs? Run away from him, Lottie, Go. run away from him. Get the fan going, swap the ball. Oh, <laughs> I tell you what, though, If only I could just be running side by side with her. That <laughs> great <laughs> run down by, by Aspen Nakao. What a great chase there by Aspen. They're scrambling now. They're not sure what just happened. About an 80 metre run from they need to Sigigi. They, they need to spread, offload that. Oh, Short of the line. Still got numbers here to the right. 
If they give a quick ball out here. Oh, she scored that. Lovely by Talara Taylor. There is not much to that girl, but she is an amazing young hooker. <laughs> well, that just turned, didn't it? That's quite yeah, quickly. Turned. Yep. That started with the 80 metre run, though, from yes. Sagigi that we yep. first saw, but taken down from Nakal. But there's the replay. It's exactly what happened before. And yes. I'm not sure she's gone straight in front of the yep. 17 for some more. It wasn't. Um, capitalizing off someone with their back turned she's no. gone straight at their feet <laughs> so i think what they thought was they were worried about the shift out to the right the uh, the samoan team and forgot you know they've got to check first check on that little hooker and i'm telling you she's little she's tiny that's the second time she's 100%. gone straight from dummy and <laughs> she's um she's definitely someone i hope that the nrlw are watching there's not a lot to her but she's tough and she's a very good player with a great IQ of the game. Well, that's it. Under 17s, you know, the next sort of, a few of them would be under probably 15s and 16s, but obviously start going into those programs and player developments as well. So I'm sure we'll start to see some of these young women on the NRLW in the coming years. The female game, it's growing. It's, mm. it's absolutely growing. And just the, some of the talent that I see and the yep. skill level that Oh, it's amazing. Yeah, Sam, the pathways for the for the girls' game at the moment is just, like, amazing. Like, And, and I'm going to give a shout-out to the Titans with their, the Future Titans Female Academy. You know, I was I was lucky to be involved in that um, with the 17s and 19s. You know, Murph gave me a call um, after I'd been at the Bronx for a bit and said, Sis, do you want to get yourself back into coaching? And it was, it was honestly, it was a cup filler for me. And um, just some amazing talent, especially, you know, having a lot of those Northern Rivers girls there that I've been able to commentate in the Koori knockout, you know, and a lot of our Murray and Koori girls. And it was just, you know, it was a pleasure to be back coaching, that's for sure. Oh, awesome. All right, the tides have turned. And what was quite a dominant start for Samoa has changed. She's tipped it, touched it, passed it to Friday. Here we go, sir. Let's oh, go, Sammy. A little step. They're going to need more than two to bring her down. Ozana. And just a lovely kid. And yesterday, a little story about Ozana. I've come back from a run and she's, um, Arnie, can you do some fitness with me? I said, sweet, let's go. She did 10 100s and some Malcolm's. Just a bit of a blowout. And she finished it, so I'm really proud of her. Awesome. Did, God, you, did you join her? Did you join I did, her? Bro? I did for the last couple. I, I'd been on a bit of a 6K hike myself, so the, the old legs were gone, but I you know, got out there and tried to help her as much as I could. That's great. Her Lottie and Denise Mitchell came out and did it. All right. Back to play. Oh, the long Murray's ball. Long ball. What a ball. Nice pace. <laughs> that was so long and flat. Casey Campbell. But it worked. Casey. Playing that short. Oh, she's gone for the kick. The number 15, is it, for the Murrays? Kaylee Booth. Kaylee, that's Kaylee. It's yes. being collected from Samoa. Can they keep her in? And they Great. will. Wow. Great desperation by the Murray team there. They won't only keep her in, they'll take her out. There was about six, seven, or eight of the Murray girls just ran in to keep her in goal. In a, Force the era. Force Just looking at the energy and, yeah. and the enthusiasm uh, from uh, the, the Murray 17 girls here at the moment. Um, just You just see they're all motivated, energized. energized. <laughs> but they're, all, yeah. they're connected, you know. They're yeah. just, and I bring that back to their coach, Benny Mitchell, you know. That's the kind of person he is. He, he really um, hones in on that connection. He's, he's very culturally knowledgeable. Um, he loves his from the Torres Strait, he loves his people, he loves his mob, and you know he loves you know women's footy even more. So, Janella Wing with the ball. I remember seeing her at QMC. She was firing. Yeah. She's great. Yes, yeah, Darwin girl. Yeah, <laughs> she was exceptional. It's great to see that she she made obviously the the rep side, but yep. I think a, ve a big asset to this team as well. Yes, a lot of aggression. As we see now. They'll spread it right. One up with the 13. Follows oh, the offload. Talara Taylor with the ball. Can they? Numbers out here again. Yeah, set up to the right. There's Thaiday. Oh, dummy. Ooh. Oh, good intercept, though, Great from intercept. Samoa. 
But the defense from the Murrays, they won't let her go far. That was a number five. What a good read of the play by the number number two there, Layla Satui. For the Queensland Samoan under 17's female team. <clears throat> Olomali here with a tap. A few of these names look familiar from the 15s as well. Um, mm. yes, yeah, they, they definitely may, may be related. You know, definitely Mongo. some relations <laughs> for sure. Um, but there is a name in here, oh, Junkie. The Jessica, her sister, I can't remember her first name, but she played recently in pack games for Samoa. Um, okay. Can't remember. But yeah, the number four, Jessica Junkie. Her sister plays, I'm not sure if in the NRLW, but she recently represented Samoa at the Pack Games in solo. Strong carry there by Bernadette Papani. Just having the, the player down here, just... Trainers doing their diligence, checking, making sure everything is okay. Old Tyrone in the background too, with the Uncle helping Ty out. Uncle Tyrone. <laughs> Uncle Tyrone there. <laughs> How good are though all these players to have some of the old heads around to be supporting the ambassadors as well, but just, I think, really important for all the young women yeah. and men who play as well. And you know, with Ty, like, I rate, I rate him as one of the best halves when he was playing, and, and I never thought he got the accolades he should have for, for how good he was. Yeah. Um, just a really smart, patient player. He always looked like he had all the time in the world. And um, it's good to see him giving back. Um, he's got three, two daughters of his own and a son, so he good definitely uh, definitely is in that female space. Yeah. <laughs> he's got no choice, really. And it was the an update on the injury. It looked like it was the 16, Hammond Lee for the Queensland Murray team, who's come off with maybe a head knock. So we'll see her replaced. Yes. <clears throat> Sam all with a penalty. A few little piggybacks from the Murray team. Only a few seconds left in this first quarter. Probably need that couple of minutes to just reset. Because there's just been oh, great a tackle. few too many mistakes from the Murrays, but obviously Samoa able to capitalize. Oh, straight off dummy half. Yeah. That's the 15 or that must be, yeah, yeah Kaylee Booth. Booth. Yeah. Funny, funny story about Kaylee. I remember her being probably my outstanding player for the Murray Carnival. Um, she was playing for Brisbane Natives and she was standing on the sideline the other day and she would have been my starting half. And I'm looking at her and I'm like, what? I said, are you the girl with the headgear? And she's like, yeah. I said, Benny, put her on. <laughs> she's deadly. <laughs> well, she just made three back-to-back -back tackles yeah, here, yeah. you know, and just yep. crucial tackles too as uh, Samoa was trying to get on a roll mm -hmm. and that will take us into quarter time with a quick two minutes for the girls to rest and reset the queensland murray currently lead eight to rugby league samoa on nil but every other game i think we've watched it's been samoa who's led at this point of the game and i mean at the end as well because they've won everyone so it, it's really exciting i think the tides have turned like i said earlier the Queensland Murray girls have really turned it on. Be a good challenge for Samoa. I think, um, you know, for this second quarter, we'll just be resetting. Obviously, the Queensland 17 girls are here to play, you know, so um, I wouldn't be surprised if they would have seen the, the results before and just say, no, nah, that can't be us. You know, mm. let's, let's give it back to them. Good old Jimmy Roberts here. Yep. Wonder what kind of. Uh, aspiring words we he would say yeah, <laughs> just run like a jet yeah. <laughs> that's blame Gee, you mean you deadly. <laughs> no. he wasn't he exciting to watch a eh, when he was playing oh. just like you know just give the ball to jimmy that's all you give the ball to the jet because he just makes something out of nothing yep yeah when nothing's going on mm -hmm. you just say give the ball to jet yeah and he'll just bang try Uncle Eddie Mone walking across there. Show me the Mone. <laughs> He's got the strap there. He deadly that one. The what's all the indigenous for the QRL. Yep. And I love the fact that you know we we're getting like cultured cultured mob comment 
commentating. Just because, like, listening to some of the commentary last week, I really struggled to listen to it in terms of, like, the pronunciation of, you know, Maori, you know, a Maori. Like, you, I, I really think that, you know, we could do better in that space. There are plenty of Maori and Aboriginal Torres Strait Islander commentators that can commentate those games, Absolutely. you know, at All Stars. So I, I think, you know, like, not telling you how to do your job, but I think culturally, protocol, culturally appropriately, we need to start looking at, you know, giving that opportunity to our cultured mob and, you know, at, on that platform too. Would so be, important. Yeah, it is so important. I don't think they appreciate the importance of the pronunciations and the mm. surnames. Yes. Like maybe because you don't come from bloodlines with that really rich culture and mm. history. But yeah, we worked with, with Matthew, the president of Queensland Samoa, who gave us his time earlier week, oh, yeah. earlier in the week, which I mentioned earlier. but. You know, he took us through all of the pronunciations. He gave us some information about Queensland Samoa. But, you know, as a commentator, that's sort of, yeah, it's your job. But yeah, also that's the key, one yeah, thing I want to get right yeah. is the pronunciation. Because yeah. I remember, like, when they used to mispronounce my name and I was like, oh, it's so annoying. <laughs> like, But even Josh, oh, I can't even say his old, like, the old way they used to pronounce it. What the hell is it? Papali? Oh, yeah, yeah. Papali. Instead of Papali, yeah. Instead of Papali yeah. now, I, like, you know, even then, like, NRL, you know, got somebody in to, to help out with oh, the surnames, so but yeah, for us, you know, being, you know, cultured and, and so ingrained in our culture, it is so important that we, you know, people get them right. You would have had some shockers, Sam, like, take it uh, easy. I think, <laughs> I think back then, you know, like, um, um, as a player, you just thought, oh, if Man. it's easier for them, yes. yeah, then yep. that's, we'll just roll with it. But then you get to understand that that's your um, family name. Yeah. You know, that's been carried on. Long lines. Long lines, mm -hmm. and you want to honour them. Yeah. You know, so it's... Um, the ancestors that are looking down. Well, so there's it's, plenty it's, around today. You know, William is a, is a simple word, you know. Oh. If we could just say, oh, will I am. You know, yes. will I am, yeah. you know, so... Um, yeah, I love it. I'm, I'm, I'm all, all on board. Who do we need to talk to? <laughs> Hashtag NRL. <laughs> Anyone out there, comment, please. Who do we talk to? Yeah. I've heard some really good Māori, you know, Aboriginal Torres Strait Islander Well, that's last year when they were in, yep. over in New Zealand, they had a Māori commentator. It's just so important. Yes. Yep. I think it's the greatest asset. And if they don't have them, train them, provide opportunity to get them. Because there's so yes. many who people who love rugby league, and I'm sure they can do what we do. You just need to be able to provide them the opportunity and the pipeline. Baylor Geck with the ball. Yes, we returned to live yes. footy. That was our little podcast segment yes. of pronunciation yep. and why it's important to culture. <laughs> Samoa missed an opportunity there on the right they side. Did. They had about a four-man overlap out there, Sam. Yep. All right, the Murrays. There she is. That's Ruby. Very quick player running straight head-on into two Samoan Bez defense. Bez Gubzek. Bez Gubzek. We, I'd love to know how you actually say yes. that name. You, yes, you know, I can so. go and find out at half time. Oh, unlucky there by uh, Denisha. Dang, there might have been an elbow, I think she thought, in the play. For Denisha. So we'll see Scrum with Samoa to feed. Little drop ball. Minutes out of this uh, second quarter. I think there's some uh, changes of uh, jerseys here because that number five there that's packing the scrum is actually number 11 here, Memphis Taniello. Okay. The daughter of the great Robert Taniello. Oh, is it? Oh, yes. there you go. I was wondering if there was any relation. Great dummy. Oh, that's Great quick. Dummy. Show and go by the number seven. Can they finish it? Oh, and she oh. finds her number Beautiful. 12. Needed a turn. Yes, that was a lovely play down the sideline there by Memory Pai. How do I say that, Sam? Pai Tai? Pai Tai. Pai Tai? Uh, memory Pai Tai. Pai Tai. Yeah. Beautiful run. Nice little show and go and picked up uh, the number 12, I think. Was that right, sis? I think it was the 12 on the wing yes. though, so that's what got me. Here we have Get the, the 12 Deadly the Choices I, replay. I, I think the girls have done jersey swaps inside the sheds and probably realise, hey, um, my jersey doesn't fit so here. Touches, uh, so swap? that's high tie. 
Maya. And then Saltia. Yeah. I hope that's her. The 12. Yeah. 12. So the name we have. So we're sorry out there for the mob that uh, we might be saying the wrong names for the wrong, wrong girls, but this is what we've got in front of us for our this team This is sheets. what the team managers yeah. put in. Uh... <laughs> so blame them. Yeah, this is on them. But whoever that was, how clean was that? Straight mm -hmm. down the sideline, the right edge. She probably could have taken it herself, but she had the number there in the 12. One out, points. Got a bit of an angle on this kick, a bit, um, probably a couple of metres from the sideline. First points for Samoa. They're on the board. They're on the board. I must say something here about this tiny Lee girl that's giving the waters out for the girls. She is such a great leader. Yeah. Um, she goes to Wavell. Mm -hmm. She just goes to Wavell. Uh, Wavell. Wavell stay high. She's done her ACL actually. And she's, um, I think earlier this year or was it last year? Mm -hmm. Yeah, last year, last year. But she's um, doing some amazing things over at Wavell State High School. Yeah. Um, just leading that Pacific space of um, um, young Pacific the leadership. Awesome. And it's so good that when they give back, you know, it's, um, we see a lot of that these days. And I think because especially within our both of our cultures, we know how important role models are. And so good to see that, especially females in that space are giving yep. back. She's awesome. actually, sorry, she's actually still in school. Oh, she's still in school? Yeah, oh, she's wow. year 11, so she's oh, just trying to... So mature. Yeah, and just, very I mature. love that. Wow, yeah. that, love that certainly is a leader. Yep. She's got lovely parents. Yep. Oh, that's so good. Anna Foto. You, would, you, would you know Anna Foto? I do, yes. Yeah, that's her daughter. Okay, oh, there you go. There you go, yeah. <laughs> well, yep. Anna's a lovely lady, so, you know, she's a reflection of her mother, that's for sure. He's doing some amazing stuff in the girl space too. Um, down at Hornet still. I'm yep. giving these guys a plug, eh? Yeah. <laughs> some great... Sponsored by, no. Yeah. <laughs> We're seeing a big turnaround here in, um, yeah. in the Samoan team, yeah. you know. Their, ruck, their rucks are really, really good and strong, you know. Oh, she's lost the ball there. Oh, oh. such a great run by the number. Turn around, sister. Number 13. 13. Lishiana Shaina Ulungia. How do you say Shaina? Lashaina Ulungia. Do you know what I found now? Um, when I was looking at the 14 boys line, mm -hmm. the lists and names, and just especially looking, normally it was the the, the last name that was hard to pronounce. Mm. But now it's like the first names. <laughs> you know, like I'm like we were talking about I got, I got all the I got I got the last names down back and I'm like looking at all the first names going, Hey, what's what's going on here? Yeah. I love it like as a commentator you resort to the first name too if you can't pronounce the second, <laughs> the second name. Up, and then yeah. you look at it and you're like, Oh or the number. There's or that the big number. thirteen. Yeah. <laughs> Great run from the number thirteen. Yeah. That's our big bopper. Yeah. <laughs> so you know the secret oh they contested the scrum here. Oh, I didn't realise we had contested scrums. My God, Ooh, wow. some more. A little trick play there. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. We're ready for that, the Murrays. I don't know if the Murrays knew they could contest. <laughs> they bought it in early. That was really impressive. Yeah, well, you would with a pack like that. Yeah. You would contest it. You can, you can win those scrums like that. It's oh, when you look at the size difference. It's like 100%. The, the sheer, it, yeah, the sheer size. Is just... yeah. yeah, the women's would struggle with that pack. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, no nice contested pick. back, that's no. sure. Well, here again with the ball out yeah, of the scrum. There's a 13, playing the right side, touches the half. She's got numbers on the right 12 side. Again. And she scored it, the 12 again. I think that was, it was the 7 to the 12 combination Saltia. again. Saltia. Maya Saltia, two tries. That's that little combination we saw for their first try down that right edge between the half. And the 12, and once again, they've come up with another try. Just thinking it could be any of these centers, because he's playing in the centers, and I think something's going on here. <laughs> Is this the up-to-date list? Here we look at the replay. We've got the 13. Solid run from her, though. Yes. The nice little draw and pass. They had the numbers out to that the right. Between what I think is the halves, but also I'm not sure because they seem to be playing different numbers. She probably yeah. could have gone one more. So yeah. yes, I've just uh, been received a message from Anna Foto, as we we're just speaking about <laughs> before, and she has mentioned that number twelve is Armani Misa. Armani Misa. Let's change that. I don't even think she's on Did the she team play list. The 
Probably. She could probably back it up if she needs to. But, yeah, sorry, we've been calling her Galtia. Oh, no, there was it might have been her sister, another Missa. So Armani Missa for the number twelve. The second try in this under 17s match, the Queensland Murray girls playing the rugby league Samoa, Queensland girls under 17. Big shout out and thank you though for the <laughs> yeah, for getting you, Big Anna. Sammy the, <laughs> yes. the correct name. Thanks Anna for sending that through. If we have, oh, how's uh, that for a kick from Samoa? It swung to the right, but she had the distance on it. So that means the first time in this game, the score is level at eight all and i'm not sure what's changed i don't know was some secret ingredient in the water sam but some more have come out into the second quarter a different team oh i think they've bought out bought out the secret water too early <laughs> um but i think it's it's a change of attitude yeah it's just a bit of reset you know after that uh first quarter talk from the coach all you need talk or yelling yeah <laughs> Great kick. What a kick by Ruby. Good chase. There's Booth again, like you said. She loves the contact. Okay, at least she does. Someone now starting to build momentum. Oh. Straight through the middle. Oh, I to Ua. The big ten. Aspen here out of dummy half here. That's that number one, Kyle for. Oh, they get a penalty. They've got a penalty. Six tackles in good ball. Yeah, eight all scoreboard. We've seen what they can do on the offense. And I feel like the Murrays have been defending for a very long time. So obviously fatigue starting to kick in. Yep, they haven't been down in their half. What a great run. Oh, great run from Ulumir there. Great tackle as well. Cover tackle there by the number 12. This is high. Set up to the shorter side, the left. There's the 17. Papani. Numbers to the left. Oh, she, she carries still on. Upload. Oh, held up. Great defense. Oh, she's, oh, not she's, lost, she's lost the ball. Oh, good defense there by the Murray team. It's a try saver, I think, that one. Yep. Glad it's cooled down a bit now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was a bit of wild weather in southeast Queensland. Raining this morning, then it was muggy, but now it's finally it's a nice breeze. I don't think I lived in Melbourne. Yeah. <laughs> Four seasons in one day. <laughs> All right, so we'll see a scrum packed. Some more Murrays in there. And I'm interested to see if the, how this scrum will go, if they get possession, because if I was Samoa, I could just take it back. Yep. The, um, Look at it already, you can see it. See, they're see that ready. calf muscles just yep. pumping. No, they've, oh, nice. they've definitely... Um, it's really impressive that they've yeah. been able to contest that themselves. They've obviously learned from the last one. Well, that's good. You learn from, yep. you know, if you don't you don't learn the first time, you deserve it. Oh, I think they've, they've lost, lost it. it. Oh, lost it. we it's spoke too soon, sis. Yeah. <laughs> lost in there with it. Found it front, but they're just getting up. Got to hold on to the ball. Yeah, too many errors at the moment. For the Murray side. I think from the first game there were so many errors uh for the from the young under 12s here mm, yeah um, and it spilled over into the 14s as well in yeah, the first it did. half yeah it did. It did. Up through the second rowers legs of the floor. i think as well though like we spoke about it earlier being so early in the season and as soon as the fatigue kicks in you're just going to start making these mistakes because you haven't had the conditioning of a season to be able to, yeah. to, to learn it. But <laughs> and unless you're going. playing, unless you're playing, you should have had a preseason. But um, yeah, we'll see. Oh, Samoa, she'll take it herself. That's the number 11. Quick play to the ball Danielu. by Ulamai Try time. It's a great little scoop there by um, Ulamai 
and then the big bopper. The big bopper. From dummy half over the line. Yeah. Is that deadly choices replay? Very quick play the ball from the number 11 Memphis Tanielu. And there was absolutely no stopping her. So these are. Uh, Jersey change there. <laughs> so Memphis Tanielu is at number five. I don't know who that number 11 is. From right in front, she should uh, get this. So we're not sure who the number 11 try scorer is. We'll look near with the conversion. If you know who it is and you have Sam's number, text him. <laughs> yep. 12 8, the scoreline sits. Only a few seconds or a couple minutes left in this half as the 13. Nice kick. Gets it. Right over the black dot, another two points. 8 to 14 now. Samoa in front of the Murrays, and there it is again. The Deadly Choices replay from the number 11. Who we will try and confirm a name for maybe at half time. Because she's certainly a player to watch. She's been in a lot and now a twice scorer. Would love to know who she is. I can uh, go and confirm it. <laughs> I think some of these Murray girls and the uh, Queensland Samoa girls actually play for the Redcliffe Dolphins. Wow! Yeah, so I think they, from what I'm seeing, playing be, against each other. Won't be long until the NRLW put in a Dolphins team as well. Could be exciting. Oh, good oh contact. contact. And struggling to get out of the tackle. The stinger. I know how that feels. And just steamrolls over three of the Murray girls. The number 17, Papani. Now they're on a bit of a roll. Great tackle. Little offload. Amani, is this yes, Amani? a bit of an obstruction there, I think. And they might play this penalty. Wonder if, uh, wonder if young uh, Kaylee Booth has got a bit of a. Ch I've seen a chip and chase before. Could be on here. There we go. Look at her. And she's so quiet off the field, and on the field, she just. Um, no, we're not going to. All early. right, big contact will take us into half time here in the girls under 17's cultural celebration rugby league Samoa leading Queensland Murray 14 to 8. Every Queenslander has the right to good health and we at Health and Wellbeing Queensland are working really closely with our partners to change things up a bit. Events are vital when it comes to showing just how important sport is. Not only is it good for your health, but it can combine this with healthy eating and you get the perfect team. So remember to stay active and eat well and together we can make healthy happen. All mob who get an annual health check at their participating Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander community controlled health service not only have the benefit of knowing how their health is, but will also be the recipient of a Deadly Choices shirt of their choosing. Not an easy choice. Yes, it is. Nico Hines is the OG. So make a choice. Make a Deadly Choice. Vaping is highly addictive. It can damage your heart and lungs and have a major impact on your immune system. Vaping also exposes you to all kinds of harmful chemicals that can affect brain development and function. So make a choice. Make a deadly choice.
It's important to look after your health um, so that you can live a long and healthy life and, you know, um, and be around with your family and your community. Yeah, obviously, you know, the, the younger you can come down and start getting health checks, the you know, more risks you can take out. I find AMSs, because mob no mob, it's a sense of belonging, you know, it's your, your community, you feel safe there, you feel respected. Travel and medical center in the community is a real big step and a benefit to get out of it, like you get a, you get a shirt and you get to see and check up on your health. They offer support specifically for issues that affect our mob. They're the one-stop shop. 715s. Culturally safe practices. You got like the u -dub. Optometry, physio, podiatry. We offer a wide range of services to keep young people healthy and strong. Stay strong and live long. Yeah, working with mob for mob, that's the best part. When you're ready for anything, everything changes. So when they say the real world is uncertain, be ready to create, collaborate, to think like a human, and uncertainty becomes exciting. And if they say the real world is beyond your reach, ready your experience, your connections, and it's yours for the taking, because the real world waits for no one. It's here, it's now. And whether you see the risks or seize the opportunity depends on your decision to be ready, ready for the real world. Every Queenslander has the right to good health. And we at Health and Wellbeing Queensland are working really closely with our partners to change things up a bit. Events are vital when it comes to showing just how important sport is. Not only is it good for your health, combine this with healthy eating and you get the perfect team. So remember to stay active and eat well and together we can make healthy happen. All mob who get an annual health check at their participating Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander Community Controlled Health Service not only have the benefit of knowing how their health is, but will also be the recipient of a Deadly Choices shirt of their choosing. Not an easy choice. Yes, it is. Make a Heinz today, G. So make a choice. Make a Deadly Choice. Vaping is highly addictive. It can damage your heart and lungs and have a major impact on your immune system. Vaping also exposes you to all kinds of harmful chemicals that can affect brain development and function. So make a choice. Make a deadly choice. Under-17's cultural celebration between the Queensland Murray team and Sartmore Queensland. 14 to 8 was what we went into halftime at. With the Queensland Murray girls now first to attack. Yeah, that was a flop there. Borderline number eight. Have we got this number eight? Um, here we go. Oh, here Bayo we go. De La Cruz incoming. We've had some name changes. Well, again, late for the second half. <laughs> I'm just doing all the work down there. So Bernadette is our number eight. Papani. Ah. And Teresa is gone into, she's the number 17 jersey. Oh, so it's not Bernadette. No, I said Bernadette is the number eight. Bernadette <laughs> is the number eight. And that was, that was so apologetic too. Sorry, sorry. Usamons. And I had Teresa at uh, the Titans this year for the Under-19s Academy. Very good player. Oh, so you did know the number 17? Yes. Okay. But I didn't recognise her at that. <laughs> <laughs> She wasn't in a Titans jersey. So you knew who she was. <laughs> you knew who she was. <laughs> All right, oh well, goodness. thank you for that, Bo. Now You're we've welcome. got uh, the correct names. So to clear it up, the number 11 is Harmony Harris, and the number 8 is Bernadette Papani. And the number 12, Armani Misa. So apologies if we have... Uh, oh, and the number five will be Memphis Tanilu. 
and sorry if there's any more. There we go. So we've had some clarification, so pro uh, apologies if we mispronounce any names in the first half, but hopefully now we are in smooth waters. Let's hope. As we see, I like this though, the Marikels is still trying to contest. I appreciate that as we've seen a little bit of a slow speed of the scrum. But nonetheless, it'll be taken from the number 12, Misa, playing the left side now. I was just down there in the uh, in the Murray's um, huddle. Um, two key things for them was to win the middle third. Um, definitely something that they need to do, and they've done some really good defence then. And just to like stop giving a, a piggyback down the field. Yep. Um, we saw that when they get down there, they, they can score tries, but they've got to earn the right. They've got to earn the right to attack. So um, that was some of the key things that they spoke about in their huddle. So I seen you were there in the uh, Samoa huddle too. Did you manage to hear what the coach I didn't said? Want to be, I didn't want to look like I was being a snitch. So I just said, oh, hi, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I didn't. I think he just said, keep doing what you're doing because it's working. Oh, yeah. that's, Murray with the that's, <laughs> that's a that's a Bo de la Cruz special. Oh, uh, is that a Bo de la yes, Cruz special? Yes, gave my sister the yes, fourth pass. <laughs> I gave it to them yesterday, but the yes, unfortunately, Angel was supposed to. Have, um, no, we miss we were missing someone. The third. Uh, the center out there they so the little that trip play, eh? yes uh, i'm you know what i don't care that it didn't come off they tried they it. tried i was it. so proud that of that was clean too yes. that was schmick yeah. lottie was just well, lottie number five was just yes. in front you yes. know like yes. <laughs> yep a little bit deeper a little bit deeper but they were missing the, the center so oh, okay. that's another um they were missing a number out there but all good oh straight out the gate yes. she got some air on that tackle Angela just putting her body on the line. Get up. Oh, let you hear. Oh, nice defense by Lottie. Say, Gigi. Everyone, put your hands up. So who did we say the number 11 was? Uh, That's Harmony, Harmony Harris. Harris. Harmony. Yes. You want to? He's my. Oh, oh, contact. Just contact there. Yeah. Zana. Between Friday. She just latched on and did not let go. It was the number 15 for Samoa Pio. Here we go. They're starting to build some momentum. They'll be taken down though from Tick. Short side. The halves there. Lovely little pass. Beautiful and offload. Good offload. Lovely lines there by those three on the on the left edge. Playing straight. Playing straight. That's so good to see. I think this is the first kick. It's the first kick of the game I've seen by Samoa. They've not only been able to go through the hands because yeah. they've had the numbers, so some good pressure there by the Murray team. Let's see now, let's uh, earn the right to attack. Here we go, I think they've earned it there. That's the number five. Sakigi. She reckon, what, Auntie? Did I make you slack for that run in the first half? <laughs> I said, yup. <laughs> she goes, don't say that. I said, I said it. <laughs> I'm all about the honesty. <laughs> Mitchell with the carry. Oh, a little scoot. So they finds the pass to her centre, Ruby. Did you check her pronunciation of the last name? Beskovsek. 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 Go, go. This is Talara oh. Taylor. Has she got the legs? Oh, I can see she's uh, bragging oh, the legs she's there. she's taken down. Okay. One on one. Good cover there by Esper. Kaylee Booth can get the ball in her hands here. They've got numbers out to the left. Give it to her. She'll give the long ball. Oh. oh! He probably should have just gone through the hands there. Number 14, Pauline Molina with the pressure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The great set there by the Murrays. They they got out, they earned the right to attack just then, and got out of their half quite nicely. First take up by Lotti Sigigi. But uh, defense just too good there in the end by the Samoan girls. Pauline out of the line there, putting pressure. Yeah, that's what I pressure. like to see. Yeah, it was awesome. Forced an error. That's uh, I'm looking down on the sideline. That's who we're missing, young Chanel our wing. She's, uh, yeah. she's got a sling on there. I didn't, I didn't even realize. I thought she was oh, stopped having a rest. 
collarbone maybe or shoulder, shoulder or collarbone that's yeah well there's that bit of fire yeah that we're missing yeah on 100%. that wing for the murrays yeah but that's all right now as we see some more break out a little one-on-one -on -one play oh. from the half pai tai I like her she's um definitely not afraid to have a go what I miss from halves these days is the running half. They're normally sort of a bit of a give. Um, you know, they go to the line, they give, but yeah, the running halves were um, definitely exciting to watch. Jimmy the Jets out there, <laughs> giving some advice to the girls. Everyone, just take a moment to I catch your breath. Yeah. Look at him with Black Lock too. The great <laughs> Black Lock. What, Look a, him in the what a team of support oh, staff. The outside Murray's backs. Have, eh? Outside backs. A <laughs> centre and a winger. That's how good. Bad. Yep. How good. I wish I had that. <laughs> <laughs> wonder if he can still do a backflip. Oh, oh, look, a break down the sideline here by the number... Two, is it? Is it Satui? <laughs> Ooh, uh. <laughs> bit of aggression there. <laughs> All right, let's do it again. Fire in the belly. Oh, oh wrap around the legs. That yeah. was a great tackle. She didn't... Yeah, I think she's got a little flick up to the face. And now they're on a roll here, the Samoan team. Now we see Papani. There she is, the number eight. Papani, number eight. And they look to get something going on her. Oh, she's going was for the kick. Oh, oh, chip. Chip. oh, oh she wow. I don't yeah. know. I don't know. Just got over the back of Lottie there. I think um, they she weren't was. expecting that kick. She was on yeah, side. Let's have a look at the replay. Wow, that was impressive. Yeah, it was a nice little chip Don't over. see a lot of chip and tries in these sorts of carnival Shh. competitions. Yeah, put some weight on it, you know. It was a nice weighted kick. Hmm. Nice yes, over. Yeah. Yep, weighted, weighted. Bang. Yeah, I don't know. Touch and go whether she was onside there. But uh, the refs have liked it. They like it. So what a great try. She would be behind the, the kicker, doesn't she? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey? Behind. Behind. Yeah, she has to be behind. Yeah. Anyway. Good way. Good try. Good try by the girls. I you love know that what? I love that they're, they're trying, trying things. They're trying 100%. things, exactly. You know, and, and whether she was on site or not, they yep. tried something new. And I think even if she wasn't, yeah. that still would have been a try. Like, she had miles yep. on the other girl. So it was that instinct to yeah. chase that, you know what I mean? Oh, this is exciting. I'm glad they're starting to try now. I mean, obviously, they've got a 10-point buffer, so they can afford a couple of little tricky things. But that was really, really impressive. Yeah. And weighted kicks like that, and, and especially just to chip, like as a half, just to just to get that position mm. and like the precision of that is really really hard, especially when you're on the run. So yeah, it's, and you've got to really sort of bring your your foot right back towards your leg when you're kicking those. So it's um yeah very impressive yeah. little kick that was. And we'll see the third. The halves team. will appreciate those kicks. Oh yeah. yeah. Yes. We had a camera on you, Bo. Just you, just trying to explain <laughs> that, and the I, arms is going. Even even I'd the footman with the issue, yeah, she was just yeah. going. And so, <laughs> everyone out there, if we had a camera on her, she just yeah. I'm really bad for that. I've done it on TV. I've done it every time. Look, beautiful little weight. Can you see if you can see her foot yeah. come back right to her yeah. to her um, shin? See? That's awesome. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's J just like JT we... would tell me I'm right. <laughs> And he'd laugh like that too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who can do the best in, impression of JT's yeah. laugh? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Another goat of the game. Straight to the try scorer. Oh, nice defense there. Ooh, ooh. Hey, hey. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Jeez, a... That was impressive that she's come out with that ball. All right, the 17, I think, now. How many? Once again, they, these, the Murray girls need to go forward in defence. Stop giving them a piggyback down the field. That's better. Good little tip on yes, there. Beautiful. I love seeing that. Nice and Aspen. an offload. Another offload. It's a game of offloads. Push up. Hold on to us, sis. Yeah. <laughs> Number six, resource Orcha. Ball out to the Oh, great winner. bit of ball.
He stays in. So close to that sideline, hey. They'd want to step in now. Ease those cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, less than five minutes now in this third quarter. Fifth and last. What have they got? Little dummy in there. Oh, wrap the ball up. Yes, they're, they're very good with their offloads. Here's the uh, number eight, Benedette Papani, and they've lost it. Probably not a bad place to end up, though, oh, on the fifth. Well, they've, like, they've got to go 90, right? Yeah. Yeah. Got to earn the right, as I've said. Ball line sits at 18 to Rugby League Samoa, eight to Queensland Murray. Four minutes left in this third quarter. And the Murray girls have got to be smart here. I'm looking at the, the middle third of, of the Samoan team. They look tired. This is where their little fast outside Nippy backs ones. need to come through. Yeah, Courtney exactly. Robinson is one of the best I've seen do that. Um, she she notices, oh, that's a big tackle. tackle. When the, t the, the tired um, forwards are there and she'll just come and slice through that middle. Long term Murray Carnival player. Yeah. <laughs> Old Cordo. I wouldn't call her old, I'm old. Everyone keeps asking me, you know, who's the <laughs> hardest per, you know, players that I've played with? And I go, it's all the little nippy ones. Oh, 100%. That's you what know? Petro says as well. So it's yep. all the little nippy ones yep. because, you know, like big bodies find it hard to getting worried getting stepped. Can they get yep. this? Oh, oh great hands from Dairo. And that was, you know, that was, um, Petro said exactly the same thing. Get the worst player he played against. Couldn't believe it. Matty Bowen. Matty Bowen, yeah. <laughs> he always says it. So frustrating, he says. Great kick. Good Ooh. chase here. There's a great chase here. Oh, oh. And it's just gone out. That's okay. That's a good result. Great pressure, though. The, yep. the Queensland Murray girls have turned on. But how good was Zara on the sideline? Yeah. I don't know what she was doing on she, the sideline. I think side she just line. come on. She oh. just come on. Yeah. Sub the forward into the wing. That's a hybrid prop right there. Deadly, that girl. We'll be playing for Arab United, the women's team, mm -hmm. when it comes to fruition. Well, yep, we'll get that. It'll come one day. Oh, yeah. It's my lifelong goal. <laughs> <laughs> you better check on the boots, Oh, that... <laughs> The water. I will for one game. <laughs> okay, oh. for you, I do it for you, yeah, bro. Yeah. I do it for the other sisters, All our mob. for the Pamela. Yeah. The Darnley Island. Wow, the Darnley yeah, Deep. The Eastern Torres Strait. <laughs> All right, Samoa. Now there's only a couple minutes left in the third quarter. They put up a good fight. Zana there to meet him. Shifting left. Oh, Finds nice a 13, dummy. a little dummy there. They got off to a really good start, the Murray team. They just seemed to drop off drop a little off bit. A little bit. Yeah, they just um, seemed to lose a little bit of momentum. Yeah, yeah. And it doesn't help. They've only got one forward on the bench as well. So, um, yeah, it can get a bit tiring. I when, think they've yeah. only got three on the bench. Yeah. When arguably all of Samoa could go into the front <laughs> row. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They are just so solid and strong. Yep. I think that's the, one of the things that impresses me so much. Oh, oh, is my oh. Ooh. Ooh, that's no need for that. Unnecessary. And, and again, and high again. again. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, caught it, mate. It. That was really yep. dangerous. And our young fullback, Angel Austin. Well, she's just rolled out of that, though, like a champ. Angel played amazing for Gory Storm in the, uh, in the Murray yeah, Carnival. Yeah, the Gory Storm. Yep. Gory Storm huge, players out there. Huge team and player base they have with Gory Storm. Yeah, and this oh, is what I was talking that's, about. Yes, the middles. Absolutely. Let's go, Lottie. Behind you. Keep going, sister. That's go, the Lottie. number five. All yep. the way. Who's with her? Hold on to it. Oh, oh, that's okay. That's okay. Tackle. This is first tackle. Pretty sure. Push up solid there. tackle, yep. though. This is when you want your You need to cut those. Sister. Exactly. Talara. Oh. oh, unlucky. That's where you... That's where it is. Is up through the middle. They've got a... Get those smaller outside backs. Just caught it. Yep. So you just little step there, found it, found, found a hole, and just accelerated. Good cover there by Aspen at the back. And that'll take us into a very short two-minute rest for Maori and Samoa. 
18 to 8 lead our Murray's uh, sorry our rugby league Samoa have and we've got 17 minutes left Oh, must be going down just to probably give some yes she is she's jogging in and hopefully giving some advice to the girls what do you she reckon goes. she's gonna say then? the middles yeah the, it's the middle game <laughs> but you can see it like we've just seen it then with the number five like sagigi when she finds space which uh, is quite easy to do just a couple of steps <laughs> yep. she's there and then you just turn on the pace but they need to make sure that they're running with each other this, support yeah yep. it's, i think that's the biggest thing that they're lacking too is just having those support runners i must say these girls are so tough queens and murray girls some sam has been um putting on some big shots and they just they just roll getting, out of they the just <laughs> keep getting up and playing the ball it's just so impressive i think one of those uh tackles actually the Queens and Murray girls just bounced off, got up, played the ball straight away. It was it's a quick little ball. It's freaky, eh? Like, they just roll and bounce out of it. And you look at the size difference, like the physical size difference of both teams. Samoa in the lead, 18 8. If they win this, it'll be the fourth win, fourth consecutive win of the carnival i think in 2023 last year it's a good year. way to get yourself uninvited to the corey <laughs> murray interstate challenges if you just beat us <laughs> but my god what an asset that they have been and what a you know privilege to be able to have the Samoa queensland introduce and play in these sorts of competitions i'd love to see in the future some sort of q pick qmc combo where we've got oh. the murrays versing the islanders you know i, I think, think oh i would love to see that if, if that could happen i think um you know pushing um these teams into the cupic yeah you know and, and and join cupic they'll be they'll be great to see obviously this is the slot that uh the murray versus curry's got um it could be also a, a good platform you know for these um teams to play in the cupid and when they come in back into um the murray versus Kuri, you know they've got some backbone and some Absolutely. connection built from um, the cupid i reckon it's competitions like these though that are the foundation and teach you things that are like your normal round of competition whatever you play whatever division you play in in southeast queensland don't like there's just some sort of I don't know what's in the air in these competitions, then, but like, there's just some freaky things that happen out here that you don't see in your day-to-day -day competitions. Uh, it's something, something um, comes out of you when you, it's you put on that jersey. It's too, eh? you like, know, you're like playing it's, for your culture. Yeah. I mean, obviously within the, the season you play for your club, but it's different here. Hey, you, look, you, you even look at, um, even in um, Tour Samoa in, in the NRL international level, you know, some players just I struggle playing in, a, in for their clubs but when they come and put on their jersey oh, they, they just shine. they shine yeah. so similar to um to junior foot footy is that you know they might struggle in um at their respective clubs but when they put on this jersey and they represent something that they play with pride oh and I think the beauty of Pacific football as well is that it's almost like anywhere you go in the Pacific, they just have this raw talent for rugby league. Just got some uh, commentary on the sideline from Bo De La Cruz. She's gone down to coach now. Yeah, and, you can uh, probably hear now. She's down there with him. Yep. So it's just me and Sammy in the commentary box now. Uh, 18 to 8, looks like she'll be giving some of her wisdom and coaching but she was saying she was in the last two days of camp with them so obviously she's got a lot of passion in this team passion. as well really wants to get this girl through and well i mean the first first quarter we saw you know like we know what they're capable of but some might have just turned up the heat as we see now be tackled about 20 meters 20 out, meters out. Back inside to the 17, fence one, fence two. 
but she'll be taken down just short of 10 metres. A little scoot from Dummy. Can she find space? She does. She goes behind the rock. And I can't wait to see that one on a replay. She, oh, I don't know. Sammy, like, they've just come off this quarter. And they look tired, the Murray girls. The Murray girls, yeah, I think. They uh, look fatigued. And they, you would be. Like, you absolutely would be. But it's it's becoming a little bit more obvious now. Yeah, solo Mali there. Great footwork. She's been she's been awesome lately. Um, Olamali just um, serving the ball there from dummy half, um, skinning her players just to run off her as well has has, has been great throughout the game. And we have a, a Queensland Murray girl who's just being uh, buggied off. So I think Bo was saying I can't get the number, but um, a neck injury it looks like. So they'll lose one of their players. Haven't had confirmation of who that is. Hopefully she's okay. Yeah, but yeah, they'll have the, the best support and they've got all of the medics and trainers here. So obviously in the best hands. As we see that Deadly Choices replay again, that'll take us back to live play. And we'll see a conversion to come. In what will be a 22 now to eight point lead version to come 14 minutes left in this game they've really started to break away now some more and that is unsuccessful they waved that away so the queensland Samoa lead queensland murray 22 to 8. And we've just been updated from Bo De La Cruz on the sideline. There is no bench for Queensland Murray. So that makes absolute sense, I think, now what we were saying about uh, Sam, they're, that they look tired. And they'll be digging deep oh, now. They, are. they, they will have to be digging they're deep. They're exhausted. And they've played the game without really maybe like one or two on the bench. Now, unfortunately, oh. due to some injury and oh. Just caught Sagi there uh, offside. Offside, she's keen though. She's quick too. And we can see on the Deadly Choices replay. Look, good eyes from the ref, but unfortunately, it's not what you want. The girls know they have to dig deep too, so obviously they're pushing the limits. But we'll see. Some obviously can capitalise now. They've got. Uh, Fresh legs and energy, I would say, on their side. And they're really going to start to rack points up, I think. So that was the number three. That's Tua. And oh, the refs found another penalty. You can't catch a break. Um, the, the and it's, that, are Murray. it's the fatigue. It's just you're making these silly mistakes that you wouldn't, I don't think, if you had a full bench. And oh God, how hard would it be to stop, you know, Harmony Harris from absolutely steamrolling you if you if you can't get a little break between plays? Aspen. Oh. Thought that went backwards. Ref says four though. That's all right. We'll see a changeover now. So ball back to Queensland Murray. Exactly what they needed. Let's see if they can lift here, um, even though it's 90 meters to go, but they can string a couple of piggybacks, that'll be great for them. Or even Sagigi with um, a bit of line break, mm. get them down there. She's so quick, Sagigi. I'll She's, I don't know what position, she's a bit of a, oh, she's on the wing, but you know, you could almost put her in fullback or fullback, yeah. even in the halves. Like, I think she's an excellent little playmaker. She's been able to find space. She's uh, a big asset, I think, to the Murray girls as they now work to come out. So any player they lose now to injury, they'll be playing less than 13. Not actually, Angel. probably should confirm there are 13 in the field. Got some numbers there, just got to straighten them up. Oh, yeah. This is when you want to see your outside backs come in. Obviously, 15 that's coming in. Haley Booth.
Casey oh, Campbell. Big oh, contact. big contact there. Big contact there. Ulumir with a great tackle there. Back, Back inside. inside. The ref. Ah, oh, the ref. Oh, the forward ref. <laughs> They've the been forward. doing a. They have been doing an exceptional job across the across the day. All the men and women in pink. Thank you, guys. See, you counting now. Are you trying to count numbers or? Um, yeah, I'm just trying to count how many are on the Murray team, and I keep coming to 14. So. <laughs> I think I just counted two, three, four, five, six, and no, oh, three teams here. Go on then. I was I'm picking out an extra. I'm like, no wonder he's going to have a bench. They're all on. <laughs> all right. So Ooh, near with the carry. Aspen down out of dummy half there. Bit of a good tackle. What can they do here? How many offloads? Sorry, just going back to the sidelines to get a little bit more information. They do have 14 on, Sammy, the Murrays. 14 on. So no wonder they don't have a bench. There's too many, but I tell you what, that's impressive for some. All have been playing with 13 players. Oh! oh. oh, a little bit confusing at the moment. Just making sure, obviously, there's equal number of players on each side. But I tell you what, I think, I'm not sure how long the Murrays have been playing with 14, but a testament to some more, they still got points on them. Like, you can't take it away from them. These girls have been playing up against a team of 14. 14. <laughs> Might as well just leave it like that. That's it. That's, yeah, that's... Yeah, I take my hat off. That just shows, I think, the skill level <laughs> and brute force of oh, Samoa. Samoa. And none of them realise. Like, they didn't realise there's an extra body on the field. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Oh, there's that replay again. The Deadly Choices replay. That was well-deserved, too. It was looking a little bit messy out there. Twenty six it'll take the score to. Uh, and Queensland Murray eight. I tell you what, this is not the score line I thought would be finishing the game, considering where we started. Considering where we started was Queensland Murray came out firing. Like eight nil it eight was. Nil. And then the Samoa have put twenty six points on a team of fourteen. <laughs> um but I think as well, you know, it's those injuries that have just impacted the game. The Murrays have lost a lot of their player base, which is so hard. Oh, you feel for them. They came out, came out with a lot of energy. And also, they got their kick over. Number nine, yeah, the yeah, like, Vaitolo. The Murrays, uh, like, a blood, sweat and tears, obviously. Like, they're still turning up for each other, and you can see it. But, you know, I'm sure we've both played in games and competitions where you don't have a bench and that is just mentally oh, and physically draining because you know you can't have a break like yep. you know that you are just on that field consistently for the rest of the game it's hard it's hard and, and i think you know for um, oh, a lot you just got to get it done as well yeah that's you it know, you just got to play with whatever you have all right some more now there's only a few minutes left in this game here but I tell you what, the Murray certainly haven't given up. There's still bodies in each tackle. And Samoa doesn't look like they're letting down. Even with 28 points on the scoreboard, they still want more with a little offload. Another one, another little pass straight to the right. Straight up, straight up. Good tackle there. Yeah, great contact there from the Murrays. All of my dummy half. 
passes back into the 12. That's Misa. Oh, and an offload finds who? The 13 and another Aspen. one to Aspen. There was about three different offloads in that play. They'll go short side. Put a hands there on the left. Can she find an offload? Yeah, she does. Stay in. She does. Last tackle. Do they go for another kick? Oh, good ball by Olomali there. Don't need it. Oh, another oh. offload, but it's gone back. Back of play. It's collected from Samoa. Back in. I think that's the half who's taken it. Oh, she'll and take she'll it all the way. Did she find the line? She found the she line. Found what the a line. try. Whoa, the number seven, Paitai. Oh, <laughs> she just barred through like 20 players. I'm not sure what happened there with the Murray defense. She just left. Oh, just fatigue. Carnage. Yeah, well, that's, yeah. Fatigue. It's always going to come down, I think, yep. to fatigue, but... That was a very impressive, a little bit messy set. They probably don't plan those ones, but we'll see in the Deadly Choices replay. So she's taken it from about 22 metres out. Bends one, two, three, four. Keeps going. Five. Eight. So, <laughs> <laughs> hey, Memory Pytai has somehow elusively escaped eight Murray players to find the score uh, to find the white line and get another four points on for her team so 32 to eight is the try line and as we go for the conversion I can also see unfortunately another Murray has gone down in the back I it might be Friday, yeah. Might be Friday. Maybe a knee. So I think they'll be down. Now they should be. Now they now have they no bench. No bench now. <laughs> Fortunately, yeah. And I think as well, when you sort of so early into any season and don't have the season experience behind you and sort of that conditioning, I think you are more susceptible to injury, I would say. Like you just don't it's... have. I don't know. Your body's still. Getting into the the way it needs to be for a season. Like oh, it's just, also, you know. yeah, it'd be, it'd be interesting just to see how many girls come up from north and, and where they based, how much training they they yep. did before coming in, and with the two day camp, it's um it's always a it's always difficult to um, get the girls connected. But from the beginning, like we, what we said, you know, we didn't expect the score to be like this. Um, when the Queens of Murray they, and came out strong. Yeah, they've had some really impressive plays as well. Like, obviously, over the two week, uh, the two days, it should be two weeks, so unless you need that long to be able to put as a team. But, you know, two days, we saw some really great plays that Bo has taught them, mm. the X's and things like that. So I think it's just a matter of needing more experience and more time playing as a squad. Yep. Whereas some more, you know, it's just clean, it's clinical. They waited, they were patient with it. And as I say, patient, great defense from the 12. That's Tig. And I think, um, oh, well, for the, the, the Samoa team as well, they, they played, to get, uh, played together last year in Cupic. So they've, they've um, over, over the years, they've played together. So there is a bit yeah. of a combination there and understanding of each other. You can tell, though, but that's the fourth, fifth, fourth or fifth game game consecutive win <laughs> for some more uh and this competition but stay tuned that was the 32 to 8 scoreboard taking us into full time between the under 17 some more and murray's we'll have under 18s next before we go into the murray quarry interstate challenge kicking off at 5 30 p.m 6a5